I was born before cars were prevalent, and um, if one had a car, they could go across the Eggermorgan Reach on the ferry. And of course, it took a lot of skill and daring in some bad weather to run that ferry. And it took skill, a certain amount of skill and daring, to drive your car onto it. The bridge was built, uh, was completed in 1939. Uh, and, and open to traffic at that time. Of course, there was a lot of interest in uh, uh, bridges and people, uh, I think most people wanted bridges back in those days. I have read in some sources that it was the U.S. Navy that didn't want a bridge there, but I, I rather think it was the New York Yacht Club uh, members who tried to defeat it. And that's why it's so high. You can see, you, you remember how arched it is and how high. That was a compromise to please the New York Yacht Club. The unique thing about the bridge is uh, the fact it has a, a solid uh, plate stiffening girder, which makes it sensitive to the aerodynamic uh, uh, motion. Yeah. And when you're going across, it, and not only will the bridge go up and down and, and sway like that, but it can uh, go down on this side and down on that side, further down. So you'll see this, this twisting of the deck. It's absolutely safe. We, uh, that's, <laughs> we have worked hard at it, but it is safe.